welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continuing my series on all about goldfish and today it's going to be all about butterfly telescopes. So butterfly telescopes have two defining characteristics. One is the butterfly tail. You can't always see it if you're not looking from a top view perspective. And the second defining characteristic is the telescope eyes. Later in the video, I will show you my three butterfly telescopes and you'll be able to pick out these two characteristics very easily. Butterfly telescopes are one of the goldfish that I do not recommend for new fish keepers. They are more for intermediate level for a couple of reasons. One is being that the butterfly tail is usually very thin and very easy to tear. So you have to be very careful about other tank mates in which the butterflies are exposed to and as well as ornaments that are within the tank itself. Because of their telescope eyes, they don't have the best vision in the world. And so you do not want to place them with other breeds of goldfish that can compete with them for food because they will likely not get to eat as much as they need to with them in the tank. Um, and that's just because they just can't see very well and so it takes them a little bit longer to find food. I have found that butterfly telescopes do well in the range of 65 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they can withstand cooler temperatures like other goldfish. As long as the temperature falls gradually and not super quick, then they will be able to uh, compensate for that temperature drop and they should be just fine. I have found that this type of goldfish uh, is generally more peaceful than others. I've never caught them having excessive breeding behavior. Um, I've never caught them picking on other fish. They are super, super peaceful. They are one of the few goldfish breeds that I haven't had to separate for some reason. They are very, very easy going. That said, you shouldn't put them in a tank with other goldfish that are aggressive because they will not fight back. As far as the diet goes, they're pretty much the same as any other goldfish. Um, with me, in the morning they get a Japanese fish food pellet of some sort. It's either Everyday Balance or the growth recipe. In the evenings they get Rapashi Super Gold or Soylent Green and that goes for all of my goldfish, not just them. These guys can get pretty big and in some cases can exceed 8 inches in length. Um, mine are about 5 inches or so and they are continuing to grow. I got them um, last May. So I got them in May of 2017 from King Koi and Goldfish in California. I love them. They are amazing and I definitely would purchase more from them. I have other fish from King Koi as well. As far as tank size goes, they are the same as other fancy goldfish. They need 20 gallons per fish to really thrive. They also need weekly water changes. The tank that I'm getting ready to show you gets 80% water changes every Wednesday. Also take their filters apart and rinse them out. So that's pretty much all I have on butterfly telescopes. Um, and before I end the video, here's a quick clip of mine. So this is the butterfly tank. Uh, it is on display in my kitchen. And that is Cleo, my calico butterfly telescope. That is Queenie, my red and white butterfly telescope. She is the rut of the bunch. That's generally what I call her because she's not really gotten a lot bigger since I've had her, but she's still cute anyway. And she has a gorgeous tail. I'm not sure if she's really gonna show it off. Yeah, I don't think she is. You might be able to see Cleo's a little bit. Yeah, she fanned it out just a smidgen. <laughs> and there's Jojo the orange butterfly telescope, and my black moor is in here as well. His name is Spike. He is the only male, and the reason that he's in here is because he has telescope eyes as well. So they don't really compete for food because they can really see the same amount. So I thought that works best. He's not also, he's really not super aggressive, so that always works best. And there's Queenie again. She might fan that tail out a little bit, but I don't think she's gonna. And there is Spike and Jojo and Cleo. 
So that's pretty much all my butterfly telescopes. I really wish I had more. So I hope you enjoyed the really quick all about butterfly telescopes and I hope you enjoyed my fish as well. I hope to continue doing this video series. Um, I think next I'll probably do black moors or ronchu. So we'll just have to see and I'll see y'all next time.